Hey guys and girls, in today's video we're going to be uh, randomly generating some messages to the Minecraft chat. So we're going to start off by uh, creating a Python file and we're going to call it quotes. So I've opened idle, gone file new, I'm just going to go save as and I'm going to save this into my coding Python folder that I created in my last video and then we're going to save that into here and we're just going to call it quotes and then save and that gives us a quotes.py file. Now, what I've also done is um, in the coding Python folder, I've got a text file, and in there I've got some random quotes. So these can be uh, anything you want at all. So noob, anything like that. Okay, and then we're gonna save that. Uh, and that will be where our messages come from. So we're gonna go into Python and get started straight away by importing our modules. So we're gonna import mcpi uh, .minecraft as Minecraft. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna import time and we're going to import random. Now, if you're doing GCSE, um, I, I'm teaching the AQA uh, specification. Uh, it's, uh, it's 8520. Uh, you do need to know what random does, uh, you know, and we're going to also be covering a little bit on functions today and some iteration with a while loop. So we need to define our function. We're going to have a little function that calls the mc.post to chat. If you're not sure what that does, check out the previous videos. So we're going to do define a function, call it chat. I'm going to pass it one parameter, and that parameter is going to be message, or MSG for short. And then we are going to get that to do the mc.post to chat. And we're going to give it the message variable that we pass it. Okay, with inside our loop, so we're going to want a while loop. There are two types of loop you should know about, and that's uh, the while loop and the for loop. So a for loop does something a predefined number of times, whereas a while loop does something all the time a condition is met or is true. So we're going to go while true. We're going to say uh, mc equals minecraft dot minecraft uh, dot create uh, parentheses okay and then we're gonna put in a time dot sleep and we'll do that as two just for now and we're gonna change that in a bit uh, to generate a random number and do sort of random messages to the chat but we'll leave it at time.sleep now just for testing purposes. And then we're going to create a variable called quotes. And that is going to come, we're going to get our quote from the file, um, but we need a random choice. So we're going to say random.choice. And we're going to get that choice from an, a file which we open. And we're going to open our quotes.txt file. Now make sure your quotes.txt file is in the same folder as your quotes.py file and make sure that is in your um, the folder that I specified in the last video which is I'll show you which is here okay and then you've got the mcpy folder within that okay otherwise it won't work okay but we're going to open this as read only so we want the file to be read only we don't want to accidentally write or erase any of our quotes that are in that text file and then we're going to do dot read lines open our parentheses and then close that final one there and then of course we need to actually call our function There we go, we're calling the uh, function and we're passing it the, the quotes 
variable. So we've created the variable. We've said we want a random dot choice from the file that we open, which is quotes dot text as read only. And we're going to read that line and pass a random line back into the quotes variable. Okay. And then we're calling the function and it should pass the chosen quote into my uh, Minecraft. So let's start up our server. Okay, that's our server starting and we need to launch the actual game. So I'm still on 1.15.2, latest release. Okay. Let's just give that a second to load up. And we're just waiting for our server to start. Doesn't take too long. I do need to upgrade that spigot server to the latest build so as we don't get that delay message we're getting there okay so let's go into multiplayer there's our server see if we can join Just thinking about it there we go so right you know just tab out of that and just move this across let's just snap it there we go okay so let's see if this uh if this works so control s and f5 and then we're gonna go back in here and there we go starting to get some messages and they are being randomly chosen you might get the same message a couple of times because it's random so just put lots of messages in there if you want pretty cool okay but we do need to slow down the speed at which it's going because it is going pretty quick so I'm just going to cancel that out and then where we've got time dot sleep to we're going to change that I'm going to do random dot rand int so from the the random module we're going to generate a random integer between I know 0 and 20 so then that will slow down the the rate of messages. We could even do say 30. Okay. And uh, oh, did I just, yes, I did. I need a parentheses. Okay, so yeah, so what that's just gonna do is just gonna slow everything down because you don't wanna be spamming the chat constantly like that. So let's run that and see if that's made a difference. And of course, it's going to depend on if, if this is working, because now we've got to wait to see. There we go. Now, there is a little bug with this. Um, if you'll notice that there's no full stops at the end of any of the quotes. Just wait for another one to pop up and you'll see what I mean. So there's no there's no punctuation whatsoever. So I'm gonna sort of explain to you uh, why that is and show you why that is. Okay, so it's a little bug in in sort of Raspberry Juice, but we're gonna use um, string slicing to strip out the carriage return um, at the end of each line and see if that makes a difference. So what we can do is just do and then minus one one yeah one so let's see what happens if this does and if, if this repairs it let's just check very quickly that inside that quotes file there are there are some full stops which there are and i think they've all got a full stop pretty much uh, yeah so let's go and see if that fixes it Right, saved and run. Back to Minecraft. Ah. And now we are starting to get some punctuation, some full stops. 
not that it's overly, well, it is important, literally is important, but um, do you want to make sure we get it right? Just wait for another one. Perfect. So, I hope that has uh, helped out. I hope you've uh, maybe learned something, taken something away, or got an idea of how you could use this. Uh, let me know what you're going to do with it. So, just comment below. Are you going to be uh, messing about on your server? Trolling your friends? Be interesting to know. And, yeah. Please uh, remember to... Um, yeah, please remember to like, subscribe, and click that bell to get updates of future videos. <laughs>